Hi, I'm Dawn Monroe. Today I'm going to show you how to clean out and delete and remove old template files maybe you've created in the past and they're just in the way now. So a template is a document that you create that you can use as a starting point for new documents. And um, here you see that I'm in Microsoft Word I went to the file menu and so I'm in the new area um, to create a new file. Um, in the version that I have, I see uh, more templates here. Sometimes I see personal showing up here. I'm going to go ahead and click on the more templates and then you'll see I've got several samples here and this is the personal that I'm talking about. You may see that and you can go straight to the templates from there. So in these cases, like I did a sample for someone the other day, I'm going to right click and I'll tell you, you can remove it from the list. You can pin it to your list. What I would say is even if I remove it from this list, I may still have the file living in my Windows Explorer. So I wanted to show you that. I'm going to bring up my Windows Explorer. Now, if you've never uh, looked for the templates, they all land in the custom office templates if you are storing them correctly. So you'll see this is in my Documents folder. You'll see there um, the path for this that's in my custom document templates. You could always come over here to the search bar and search templates or custom office, whatever search word you use. But see, here's that file that I just removed from the list, but it's still in here. And so what I would say is dive all the way into your custom office templates, find this particular file, and then you could delete it from here and that gets it off of your computer especially if it's an old one, um, that would be a problem. Now the same thing for Excel. I'm just going to take a, take a peek at that one as well. Uh, I'm in Excel and again more templates out here to the right. These are ones that maybe I've set up over time. You could go to the personal and make sure you're seeing all those and let's just see right clicking see I could remove it from my list which would be handy but probably not totally get rid of it coming back here to Windows there's the book and again that's an extra so I'll just delete it now just to back up the bus a minute if you came here uh, and don't know how to make a template I will just say that when you create a new file on any of these Microsoft programs, then one thing you can do is save a file. Let's just go, let's go to a blank and we'll just call this quick uh, sample. And let's just say you've, you've done some things, you've, you've made sales a color, you've done things, you've set up a few calculations, and this is a document you want to start with pretty frequently. So once you have that built, you do File, Save As. Now you could from here um, find your custom office templates. I have found it doesn't always show up there. I'm going to go Browse and here I would, um, what I would normally do is change this down here from a workbook to an Excel template and when I do that it goes to the custom office templates automatically which is easier but see here it's on my PC on my computer users it's going to a users folder documents and that's where my custom office templates are stored if you're in a large organization you may need to hunt and peck exactly where that got stored for you and ask IT, uh, your admin, if you need a little help figuring out where your templates are. But that's how you would create it and it's a great way to get started. When you open one of these template files to get started, 
it's like creating a new document and you um, get to uh, choose the name of it and where you store it and so you don't accidentally write over a file that you worked on last month you know doing that new report how many times have we done that you open the file and you start working instead of save a copy so this helps eliminate that particular problem so good luck I hope that helps have a great day